Georgia 42, Florida 20. Let's go on and bring up the stats here. And Georgia 77 plays to Florida's 71. This game probably should not have been this close, really. Uh, Georgia went up 28 to 3 at one point. Florida came back due to some turnovers, etc. Georgia had three turnovers on the day. Florida had zero. But you look at total yardage, I mean, they outgained Florida by eh, 180 yards, roundabout. Uh, they had 10 more first downs than Florida did. They had uh, one point, uh, no, sorry, uh, really, two more yards per play than Florida did. Uh, just really domination. Absolute domination in this spot. Uh, doubled them on success rate, doubled them on standard down success rate, doubled them on passing down success rate. Had three tackles for loss and three sacks. Florida had none. This was a whipping. Um, looks like, really, this was, uh, you know, a game for Vince Dooley. It, it, it reminded me very much of the Alabama-Arkansas game earlier in the year because in this spot, it appeared that Georgia got ahead early and got a little bored. And once Florida started making a comeback, they said, okay, all right, we, we need to go on and put our foot on your throat a little bit. And that's what they did. It got down to 28-20 to 20 after being 28-3. to 3. And from there, yeah, it, it, got, it got hairy for a minute, and then it got unhairy. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. It got very ridiculous towards the end uh, because you could tell Georgia could score whenever they wanted to. Uh, if you look at the, the screen, uh, which those of you on YouTube certainly are, but green is good and purple is bad. This is at GameOnPaper.com. Florida had a lot of purple. They were not a very good team. 26% on third down success. Uh, that's not good. They were 7% explosive play rate. Georgia was 10%. Like, it's just, it, there was nothing that Florida did really well. But that's the that's the issue here for betters, right? You saw Georgia minus 23 as the, as the spread. They won by 22, but they could have named their score. That's the issue, is... You've got Anthony Richardson on the other side. Of course, he's going to make some crazy plays at some point. You know, how much do you really take away from this? And I don't know that there's really anything that uh, you can take away from it. So, Georgia dominated, um, went right down the field twice towards the end of the second half just to uh, get a little bit more margin, and they could do whatever they wanted to. They are, they have set themselves up for a monster matchup in Athens this week. So we'll go on and move off of that one. But, yeah, uh, phenomenal showing by the dogs. Uh, I'm sure played this one. I think Kirby Smart said that this one was for the Dooley family after losing, uh, you know, Coach Vince on Friday. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.